Hi, my name is Jeremy Alexander. I'm a recent grad of Eastern Illinois University. Today I'll be making Jamaican jerk chicken that is college friendly. It's not entirely authentic, but I've definitely developed this recipe with um, some of my friends over the years in college. We're going to get started right away. So what I've done is that I've marinated my chicken overnight in a jerk rub. Um, I normally use some walkers with jerk rub, but anything that you normally get, you might be all right with. And then you just want to put some of the chicken out on the grill. Uh, I tend to do this either on a stove at home sometimes or on a, open, on a grill when the weather is nice out. So when Super Bowl is coming up, I'll be grilling up for some of my friends. And just lay out all your meat in a nice order in a nice manner just so you can keep track of what's cooked and what's not. And then you just turn it over once, one side's cooked, so you probably have 10 minutes on one side, 10 minutes on the other side, depending on the heat. We usually try to cook it on low heat because uh, jerk is just a, it's a slow cook kind of thing. You don't want to cook it too fast because you want all the flavors and um, all the juices to be there when you're done cooking. That one's really nice. That one's coming out good too. You just want them to cook through and through to your taste. I like to have them just a pinch, um, just a pinch over um, medium, so that when I stick them back into the oven later, that I can get the sauce really going into the chicken and really um, imparting this flavor through all of the meat. So you just just want to keep an eye on the meat to make sure it's um, it's cooking well. Cooking well. This piece is getting close to done. And now, when you see that white color starting to come through the chicken, you know that that piece is almost getting done. And um, You just want to keep a good eye on it. And it's the same, pretty much the same process if you're going to be doing, making jerk pork. You just um, follow the same process, just that you're using pork instead. But most people seem to like chicken. My favorite is jerk pork. So once you got your chicken to the way that you like it, you you can start tearing them over into your cutting board. I'll do them um, bit by bit, so because I, I still have a few that are still cooking up. And um, the reason I just with with the with the jerk is just a very intricate flavor because um, you got a lot of different spices in there. You have um, allspice. You got um, vinegar. This sauce has vinegar. Corn, corn starch, garlic powder, scallions, black peppers, um, salt, scotch bonnet, which is habanero pepper, black peppers, allspice, paprika. I usually just get the sauces because I'm not that great of a chef, and um, it's very easy for me to get it from uh, this this group of people. You can get them from various different brands. Um, people have their favorites. This is just one of my favorite. A lot of the people in my family always get that particular brand. It's made in Jamaica in the interior. It's close to the close to St. Anne's Bay, like 50 miles south of St. Anne's Bay. And these guys, uh, they're probably one of the more authentic ones to my estimation, but as I said, it's very subjective. And it's about as subjective as when you buy jerk chicken in Jamaica. Everybody has um, a, a particular vendor that they go to is the guy who's on the side of the road and he has a jerk pan on a push cart and he makes jerk chicken and you go to him and he knows your order, he knows the way you like it, he gives you the better pieces if you have a relationship with him. Okay, so you got this nice little golden brown color on the outside but it's still very juicy on the inside and that's the way I like it. Um, so when you actually cut into it, one that just comes right off the flame still pretty juicy inside. 
it's still pretty hot in there. And that's the way I like it. Um, that's how some of the vendors I buy it from at home. Uh, you can you can pick it up. They'll normally come out between like eight or 12, 8, 12 p.m. when you can, when you're coming back from a night out, and you just serve up your order. You get it in uh, aluminum foil with some hard oak bread, which is like a very dense bread, and um, it's, a, it's a favorite in Jamaica. And um, you just stand right there by the side of the road, and you eat your jerk chicken, and you can apply your sauce how you like it, and especially on a day like today, it's making me really miss home. <laughs> See myself on a warm tropical climate. So now that I got my uh, chicken all done the way that I want to, I'll just put the cutting board aside and I'm just going to mix some variations of the sauce here really quickly. I'm going to go back to my um, jerk sauce and I'm just going to pour in, um, I'd say uh, less than a cup in both to just start off with. And this is going to be the basis of the sauce that I put all over the chicken. I'm going to make one that's really hot and one that's um, a little bit more milder because through college I recognized that I had friends who liked things really hot and I had friends who couldn't stand uh, spicy. I'm using another um, Jamaican product, it's scotch bonnet peppers, habanero peppers pickled in, a, um, pickled in vinegar. And I'm just going to uh, put in a couple dabs of that and I just for me, I just, I've never really measured this, so I just go by the, the smell and the consistency of the sauce. And then I'll just throw some baby rays um, in there. This is one of the jerk sauces here that goes well with the jerk sauce, I think. And it just helps me to add some volume to this, this one of the sauce, but I'm still gonna keep this sauce hot. So you have this deep brown color going in and that's pretty much ready. You can mix as much as you want. So if, for your guests to dip it in or you can just lather it all over the chicken. This one, the mild version, I just have the jerk sauce and I'm just gonna squeeze a lot of the baby rays in there and this is just gonna be a lot milder. Uh, the baby rays gives it a very sweet, a much sweeter taste to it. And it helps to balance um, some of the heat of the, the jerk sauce. And again, you can mix it as much as you as much as you want to your taste to get it to, to meet the taste of the people that you're preparing it for. So I can tell you for a fact, most of the people I work with and most of my friends will end up going for this sauce. But I'll have a, a few friends that want that heat. So. Once you've got that all prepared and taken care of, you put them to the side and I'm going to take my, my baking pan back out and I'm just going to start putting my, um, my, jerk, my jerk chicken in and it doesn't have to be in any particular order, you just throw them onto the, the tray. Since I'm making two different versions, I'm going to try to keep them separated so that the sauce doesn't, we have the two versions going well. If you have, mul if you have, um, multiple trays you can use that that works just as well then once I got them all in this um, sheet get rid of these spoons then you can take pastry brushes or anyhow you want to apply the sauce and just apply it really liberally over each individual piece and I tend to just use a ball of sauce because um, it just really works really well that way for me. So Some of my friends ended up, um, they like dipping the sauce, so sometimes they'll ask me to make a little extra. But again, it's up to your preference. And this, just keep going, brushing them in, all the pieces, get them all, get a nice little coat. And as you're doing this, you can get a real good whiff of the, all the sauces and all the blends of all the seasons that are going into this. It's actually making me pretty hungry as I'm going along here. It's a good thing I had breakfast and lunch. 
All right, so I got the mild section taken care of. Now I'm going to do the, repeat the process again with the spicy section. And with the spicy stuff, you generally don't want that to touch your skin if you have a low tolerance to um, spices because sometimes it's going to really burn. So I'm having a little bit of a malfunction here with my brush. And again, you're going to rub this on to the taste of your guests. So if you have a people that don't have a real high tolerance for heat, you might want to go easy on this. Again, the aroma that's coming up from off of this is pretty amazing. It's a piece of home. All right, so now that we got our sauces all in the chicken, I'm gonna just stick it into my oven that I preheated to about 200 degrees, and I'm gonna just have it in there for maybe five or 10 minutes, just so the, the, the it caramelizes a little bit and it gets all of that um, seasoning cooked through the chicken and then we'll get ready to eat. All right, so it's been in the oven for about 10 minutes. So it's nice and ready. And what I like to do is just get it ready to be served. So this is my not hot version. And this is what you can feed to most people because it's not going to be extremely spicy and it's going to still have that jerky flavor to it. And you can serve this with basically any kind of um, starchy food that you want. And this is the more spicy one. It's, um, the sauce um, seems to have cooked off a lot on this one. It's more into the meat. And this one is going to have that heat that some people like about jerk chicken. But with putting it in an oven, I still have it really cooked all the way through, but I still have it remain really juicy. And with the sauce on it, it's just going to be so much better. And it's still hot. But one of the things about putting it into the oven is that you still get the meat really cooked all the way through, but you still have it being really juicy. And you can see that where the texture, the, the whiteness of the meat right there, it's still got all that juice in there, but it's, it's still cooked all the way through. And it's just going to be really nice and tender, and the flavor is just going to, just, it's just going to be all the way through, and it's just going to melt in your mouth. And you're going to wonder why you've never cooked jerk chicken before in your life. <laughs>